Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I want to show you how to use PSD mock-up photos in Photoshop. I know I don't usually do tutorials in Photoshop but I do have a stock photo bundle that I'm giving away on my website and some of the photos in that stock photography bundle do have some mock-ups that come with it so I want to make sure that you know how to use those. So let me quickly show you some of the images that are included in that bundle and so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So here you can see there's a phone. A lot of these that have the phone in them uh, will also come with a with an accompanying PSD file. So if you do have Photoshop, uh, this will come in handy because you can actually add your own photos in here and that's what I want to show you how to do today. So I'm not switching over to Photoshop tutorials um, although I do do them once in a great while, I try to stay away from very expensive software for those of us who are not designers and don't use it on a regular basis. If you are interested in picking up this free stock photography bundle, you can. Uh, I have a bit.ly link for you. It's going to be up on the screen, um, but it's a bit.ly slash pretty webs stock and you can sign up to receive this there. Okay, so when you open up the PSD, this is what you're going to see. It looks exactly like the original stock photo image. By the way, I'm not a photographer. The reason I have these available for free is because I'm learning photography and I had all of these extra photos that I wanted to share with everyone. So these are not professional photos, uh, but they are useful and I'm sure somebody will get a lot of use out of them So that's why I'm giving these away and I hope you guys get a lot of use out of them Anyhow back to the mock-up So when you open up the PSD what you're gonna see right here is our two layers You're gonna see the original layer, which is the actual photo itself and then above that So when I close this out, you can still see this little um, black uh, rectangle here. This rectangle is actually a smart object. So when I click on it, it, it has this little sheet of paper or a little icon here in the corner. Um, and all you have to do is double click on that and it's going to open up the smart object. And from here, I want to import. You can import any image that you want. And the way you do it is you'll come up to File place embedded and then I have a picture saved on my desktop so I'm going to grab that and uh, place the file and mine actually uh, brings up my raw settings yours may or may not do that uh, but if you do have your raw settings set up like that you can just click OK Okay, so once you have it in there, this section right here is going to stay black. So if we um, close it right now, you'll have the image in there and you'll have black both below and above. So because of the ratio of the screen, I'm going to go ahead and, and turn this. And I'm holding shift to make sure that I get it completely straight there. And again, I'm going to hold down the shift key and then grab this little this little handle here and I'm just gonna fit it as as good as I can anyway so I think that's a good fit right there um, I'm uh, hit enter there so once I have that in there and uh, the images you may want to take into account the type of image and the ratio of the phone um, or, or the ratio of the smart object that we're using here if you want to get the best possible fit onto the smart object uh, but I'm happy with the way this looks so I'm gonna close this out it's gonna ask me if I want to save it yes I do and then when I come back in here now I have a completely custom stock image that um, you know I can put in a picture of my website uh, and do really anything uh, within the boundaries of this smart object here and then over here we can just add our text and maybe add some I'll come in and add um, something there give it a little shadow for depth bring it over 
over just a touch. And then I can just add my words in here or I can add the words straight on to the background image. I can even adjust the opacity. And these are all things that you can do outside of Photoshop. You don't have to, um, you don't have to use Photoshop in, in order to get opacity. This doesn't very show it very well because there's nothing under it. Um, but you know, I can uh, do a lot of different things. And of course, this uh, all of these things can be taken care of in Canva, PowerPoint, um, and other online graphic editing software. Uh, the smart objects though you will need Photoshop for that so if you have a copy of Photoshop that's how you'll do that again if you're interested in the images that we're giving away on the website uh, you can follow that bit.ly code it's a uh, bit.ly slash pretty web stock and it'll take you to the sign up form to get all of the stock photos I hope you found this tutorial helpful thanks for watching